Yeah, so today is day number 38 here in Busan, South Korea. And that's right, I'm back in Busan because we got snowed out in Incheon. So we flew back to Busan and I threw at the minor league complex against a mix of major league and minor league guys. I got four innings of work in and things went pretty well. I'm pretty happy with the progress that I'm making. Um, what I wanted to talk about today is eating with chopsticks and just the whole Korean eating process because there are three types of chopsticks. There's the wooden chopsticks, which is kind of like plasticware in Korea, stuff that you can just throw out. And they're the easiest to actually pick up the food with, but you put it in your mouth and you're afraid you're gonna get splinters in your mouth, so that isn't good. The next step up, which is casual dining, are plastic chopsticks. Now these things are probably the easiest to use because they're thicker and you can pick up things and but then you gotta reach down the table and my range with chopsticks is not good. The food has to be in front of me. If I have to reach out and go grab something, I'm done. And then finally, the metal chopsticks, which are like the silverware of chopsticks. These things are so thin. I mean, I just stab food and eat it that way because I can't use these things. They're, they're so narrow. And Korean people eat soup with them. And when Koreans eat soup, it's customary for them to slurp. And that's like a sign of telling the chef that the food is good. So I'm sitting there today and Jerry's translator, Curtis, is going, slurp it, slurp it. I'm going, I can't, I can't. And he's slurping. So I got to work on my slurping. Yeah. So yeah, that's the whole process. So I got to work on my chopstick range because right now it's got to be right in front of me. And I don't like the wooden ones and the metal ones I got practice with because right now they're, they're like stabbers. So all in a day's work in Korea. That's all I got for today. Jingy Mana, you know.